Hello everybody. I haven't done an update for a while, but I had my the fifth or sixth infusion um, tomorrow. Um, I'm doing really good. You can see my eyebrows have almost completely fallen out, but my hair is starting to grow back in. <laughs> and something else pretty funny is I wear a, a baseball cap because I'm outside a lot, and it has a part that's cloth and a part that's see-through. You can kind of see where the uh, the holy part, I got a tan, so. <laughs> and then there's another cloth part that goes here, so I've got a hat tan. You know, you think about people getting uh, shirt tans, you know, like the farmer tan or it's white and red. Well, I got a hat tan, too, so that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> But this isn't about tan lines in hair. This is about angular chelitis. And angular chelitis is a really painful, it's really small right now, but painful, red, cracked, sometimes bleeding corners of your mouth. And something I've found that has worked for me that I wanted to share with you, because it's, it's these videos are about is trying to help you out, is uh, complex vitamin B that's you uh, drip sublingual, which means under the tongue. So it's not a pill. I take those too, but I don't think those are helping as much as the sublingual stuff is. The reason is, is you have a lot of blood vessels in the bottom of your tongue. You can see, if you ever look in the mirror, you see all the purple lines, those are your blood vessels. And they're really close to the surface. And I guess the vitamin B complex that's already in liquid form, you put it in under your tongue, you let it sit there for as long as you're willing to let it sit there for, you know, 15, 30 seconds, whatever have you. And it gets absorbed better than it does through the stomach, especially if you're having stomach problems or if you're on acid blockers or what have you, or having a diarrhea and you're just pooping it right out and it's not having a chance to be absorbed. So I found that when I do the, you know, the, the kind you can get at Walmart, it's not even the expensive kind. It's just the kind you can get at Walmart, the sublingual vitamin B complex, not just the B12. It's the B complex, which means it has like five or six different kinds. Um, but you can get any kind of sublingual, I'm sure, you know, of the, B complex, I'm sure it won't matter. I mean, some, I'm sure they're probably better than one at Walmart. That's a horse's thing. I want food. Um, but anyway, it's when I take it twice a day, like in the morning and in the afternoon, it helps the cracks get better. When I don't take it every uh, twice a day, and I only take it once a day, the cracks kind of start either stable or they start getting worse again. So this is a pattern I've noticed over the last four months. So that's a you know good time to observe, even through chemo. It was true. I think during chemo, it at least kept it from getting worse. But now I have been off of chemo for, well, six weeks now. And they almost healed. And I was doing it twice a day. And I'm like, okay, well, it's almost healed. Let's go back to once. And then they started, this one started getting bad again. I'm like, oh. So I went back to twice a day with the sublingual vitamin B complex. And it's starting to heal again. So that's something to keep in mind uh, if you have the cracks in the corners of your mouth, which are... When you try to eat or smile or cough or whatever, it just, you know, ow, you know, it hurts when you try to do that. So, um, vitamin B complex sublingual under the tongue, 15, 30 seconds, twice a day, it seems to help. And if nothing else, it should give you more energy, which is, you know, if you're going through chemo, it's especially difficult to have energy. And it did help me through, you know, a lot of my chemo. So, um, uh, didn't make it. The chemo feeling go away, but it did seem to lessen it, made me feel more energetic and able to get through my day. Horses are hungry. Next thing I'm going to be looking at is the teeth sensitivity and why it does that. I think it's linked to intestinal issues. I don't know when I say that, it's all part of that, you know, digestive tract. So, um, <laughs> but uh, anyway. I'm, I'm trying to find a link to that and, and how to make that better because I like cold things on hot days and it hurts to eat or drink cold things on hot days right now because my teeth are so darn sensitive. Uh, I know there's, they say, the uh, the toothpaste and there's a mouthwash, but God, the mouthwash is nasty. The kind of help for sensitive teeth, it just, uh, I take one and I'm like, Bleh. <laughs> And the tooth, you know, the Sensodyne toothpaste is nice, but you know what? It just doesn't seem to do enough because I have my teeth are so sensitive and then then again if you have a sensitive mouth issue especially when, when you're on chemo that toothpaste is way too harsh it's like it burns it seriously feels like it's burning my mouth with, with the mintiness of it so it's like well either I burn my mouth and have my teeth less sensitive or I don't burn my mouth and my teeth are super sensitive and all I can eat is warm stuff so I'm still trying to figure that out if you have any ideas please share 
Um, but, uh, you know, anytime I learn something new, I want to share it with you. Anyway, have a good one. Take care of yourself and keep your chin up and share your love and joy with everybody around you. Bye-bye.